Hey guys, what is up? It is from the Moves here, back again with another Isaac Hardcore Run. Nedjate! Let's go. What the f- I'm Zumbini! I'm the fastest that ever was! I'm a fucking race car! Kane, dude. Fucking love Kane. Is this base speed or is this fucking, like, 80 speed? I can't tell. It feels like yes, because fucking just did the Maggie run that took 17 quadrillion years. I like 17 as a random number. If I'm gonna just like say a random number, 17's up there. I don't know why 17, but that's the number. Probably because 7, right, if you think to name a random number, what fucking, what's more random than the number 7? Right? It's prime. It, uh... That's about it. It's the number 7. Uh, I'm a fucking idiot. Um... Ugh, Duke. Alright, well fortunately we are Kane. This is Green Duke, though. I believe Green Duke creates double flies. Yeah. We are, like I said, we are Kane, so I do have a little bit of a damage edge on Isaac. Not significantly so, but enough so to be noticeable, I would say. But yeah, I don't know. Seven's like... Because when you think of a random number, right, everybody's going to think of something in the bottom five, right? I mean, you got to go uh, below ten, of course. Most people are probably going to think of bottom five, right? That's just, that's how it works. Um, so you got to metagame it and not pick bottom five. You got to pick top five, right? But in those top five, you know, what's a good number? Eight? Nah, it's too even, right? Eight's too perfect. Nine? Nah, it's too close to a to a arbitrary like arbitrary barrier, right? Like it's too close to ten. Slash zero, I guess, if you're if you're gonna like you know, whatever. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Um Mr. Boom's fine actually. I'm actually quite happy with it, because this gives us a bunch of cash. It's not quite enough to actually make our shop worthwhile on this first floor. But it could be the... Ooh. 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 I'm... Yeah. Yes. I'm yes. Um, so you go, you go top five. Not eight or nine. Right? Six. Six has a similar problem to eight. In that it's too even. Five. I don't know. Five's boring, right? What's what's exciting about the number five? I don't know. Seven just—it's always felt like the perfect random number to me, which innately makes it not random. If you know anything about randomness. Also, humbling bundles. Oh, good. Just. Oh, good. We are very powerful after the first floor. Let's go. Oh, one-shotting flies feels so good. Mr. Boom is a highly underrated item. Heavily underrated would be a much better representation of what I'm attempting to conversate. It's so good, but it, it gets super overshadowed by the D6, because the D6 exists. Uh, which is the unfortunate truth of a large amount of items. So I'm just going to plop this here. Because the thing about Mr. Boom, you have to remember, is that it has a two-room charge. So if you just plop it down in a room, goddamn. If you just plop it down in a room, that like helps you finish the room faster and maybe destroy some rocks, then like you're in such a good location. Location. Spot. You're in a good spot. Sometimes I tell myself in my brain, because of all the stupid fucking American schooling that I've had, like, hey, you should mix it up on the word choice. 
you know, it's getting a little bland with, uh, you know, spot and spot and spot. You know, you gotta you mix it up. Okay, what's synonymous to spot? Location. Well, I mean, not in this context it isn't. I mean, yeah, like, most of the time it is, brain. You got it, but, like, you didn't get it, brain. You didn't. You fucked it up. That's why English is so hard, dude. Every single thing in English is, like, contextual. All words mean something different in different contexts, which is frustrating. Fortunately, as a native English speaker, I find English a lot easier than most people would, I would assume. Do I find it easy? I'm, I'd say I'm fluent, right? as I am a native English speakers, speak, speaker. Okay, good job, me. Let's fucking talk about, you know, the speak about speaking English and just fucking be retarded, you fucking... Oh, God. I'm retarded? Uh, what was I saying? Right, English. English is tough. English hard, me words good, me Tarzan. Okay, so that's that's the whole floor. I guess let's check out our library. Our library. Anarchist cookbook. I do not believe that is better than Mr. Boom. It could well be. Ah, eh, let's blow you up. Fuck you. Was pretty beneficial. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, I do want that pretty bad. Okay, let's try and deduce our secret room location. <laughs> seduce. It's here! Nice. I was right. Puberty. Here's down. Pheromones. You suck. Welp. Uh, I guess I'm passing up on champions, but I'm gonna make it my goal to not withdraw from my donation machine ever in hardcore. Not because I think it's an inherently drastically negative thing. I do think it is some amount of negative. Oh, Jesus. Whatever. Just take the pheromones and get the fuck out of there. I do think it's a bad thing. Shot one bullet and then moved and then shot immediately. What the, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Mostly, my my dear friends, if you were curious about what I was. All right, that's a good that's that's a good haul. Um, I guess before I take red art damage, I should pick up the paw. I will maintain one red heart, though, as always, because one red heart is very important to deals with the devil. It makes them incredibly beneficial. It makes basically, it basically just turns two heart deals into one heart deals. Sure, you can't take more than one, but whatever, man. If you're banking on taking more than one deal with the devil, then you probably already won the run. Or you're in such dire straits that you've already lost it. Either way, banking on multiple deals is not really a good thing. It's like the opposite of uh, putting too much money in one place. Are kind of also the same as that, but only kind of because it's whatever. Move, move along. I got crab hands, so or or crab hands if you like to speak the English language. Not crab. Do you fucking speak fucktard like I do? Fucking fluent. Eight years of study.
I wonder, actually, if there is uh, some dude who studies dumb as, like, a language, like, idiot. Because right? everybody knows, everybody's met some fucking idiot in their life, and they know that idiots tend to talk in pretty specific ways. Yeah, that, that was a good use of Mr. Boom. Didn't get a deal. We got Angel, which actually I'm okay with. I kind of want to maintain the deal with Angel. So. Right, I, I don't have it unlocked yet. Why are you again do I not have it unlocked? Right, because I don't have either the negative nor the Polaroid. That is correct. Okay. If I had one, then it would be unlocked. The reason it's not unlocked until then is because you can't actually do anything with the key that you get. Because you can't even get to the dark room or the chest where you fight Megasaint. And that's the use of the key. I mean, the other use of the key is, you know, unlocking the item Dad's Key, which Dad's Key number one use is unlocking the Mega Satan boss fight, so I guess it's the same deal. I actually don't believe I've ever used Dad's Key in a, like, ad, you know, I've used it, like, once maybe in a run, in, like, an Eden run where I'd start with it or whatever. But, like, I've never taken Dad's Key without the intent of opening the, uh... Hmm! Oh god, you never know when the fucking yawn devil's gonna fucking attack you. The the yawn goblins. Um Without the intent of opening the next Satan boss fight. I've always intended to open that boss fight with Dad's key. I've never been like, this'll be a value play. <laughs> you know, I'm not a value kind of guy, you know. You know, you know, you know. I've started saying you didn't know a lot. I apologize. I know how frustrating it is to hear people kind of lull into, uh, like, very frequent repetition of phrases or sayings or things. I, I know how frustrating it can be. I will absolutely take this. Because I hate when people say, like, all the goddamn time. I just replace any time that I would say like, unless I'm trying to, you know, pretty clearly use the word like. Um, I just say um. <laughs> Which, now that I've told you I say um all the time, it's done that fucking How I Met Your Mother glass shattering realization. And then you just think back to all of the times that I've said um, and you're like, he's fucking right. Damn. Speaking of which, How I Met Your Mother, really good show. Really good. I'm not a TV guy, but... There, there are definitely certain shows that I do enjoy. How I Met Your Mother is high up there on that list. Uh, Arrested Development, also up there. Um, Shark Tank. Shark Tank is awesome. What else is sweet? What else is a sweet TV show? Uh, I can't think of any. Whatever. There, there's like at least a couple others, but you know, those are the main ones I'd say. Oh, Castle. Castle's really good. I fucking love Castle. Mostly because I actually am a huge fan. I know not many people are, but I'm a huge fan of the like Law and Order type shows. Pretty much any show that involves investigation and law related shit is fucking that's my jam 
which is a pretty weird specific thing to to enjoy but I do and castle is like everything I ever wanted in a TV show it's really good writing it's uh, funny likable characters it's one it's a crime show right uh, and it's just fucking good. I don't know. There's just so much good about it. I love it. It's one of those shows where it's like you watch an episode and then you're like, oh, I should watch the next one. And then you watch the next one and you're like, I guess I'm watching the next one then. And then you watch the next one and you're like, well, alright, I guess I'm here already, so I'll we'll watch the next one. And then you just keep going. And it's not even because it's like cliffhangers, right? It's just that good. I love it. I love it so much. So, Wheel of Fortune versus Judgment. I don't know. It's kind of weird because neither is really that good if I'm not going to the chest. Uh, but, I'd say no matter what, Judgment is just a better card than Wheel of Fortune. Because in both cases, basically, the thing you summon, you're either blowing it up. In both cases, I think the drop pools are like, if not the same, similar enough that it's not a big deal. Um, or you're dumping money into it. And I'd say if you're dumping money into it, you'd rather get a bunch of consumables as well as potentially an item. Even if it's just an HP upgrade, that's still pretty good. You know, I'm not upset about that. Okay. But then, if you go down to the chest, both of which do blow up into another item pedestal, which is pretty good. But obviously, we do not have. We do not have the chest unlocked. So that's not exactly relevant here. But it's uh it's worth pointing out. I'm not happy about that. None of that am I am I happy about. Happy about I am not. All this money, dude. If our final shop has super greed, I'm gonna be pretty salty. I'm gonna be saltier than the Sahara Desert. And that's when everybody's like, fucking, what are you talking about? Salty desert? You know what's in sand? It's a lot of sediment. Sand is just an amalgamation of fucking bunchers of rocks. Salt's in there, dude. I'm sure if you took the entire Sahara, right, which you also don't have to add desert to, because I believe that is part of what Sahara means. It's desert. Uh, but if you take the whole Sahara, right, you, you collect up all the sand of the whole Sahara, and then you fucking extract all of it, sort all of the bits, the grains, into its own different sediments, you're gonna have a gigantic pile of salt. I believe that there's no doubt about that. I believe that is 100% the case. Am I retarded? I'm retarded. <laughs> I've never imagined a more fucking retarded play. What the fuck is my issue? I don't even know what to say. I'm like, I feel bad because I'm like, I don't, you know, like, I, I, I would feel like I need to apologize because it was so bad, but, like, do I apologize to myself? I don't, whatever. But yeah, Sahara Desert, salty, think about it. You'll come to the same conclusion I have. If you don't, fucking get blocked, idiot. Got him! I need to maintain my echo chamber. Ah, uh, yeah. Mom's perfume is sweet. 
it is a tear to lay down. Tear shot is also not a bad part about it at all. It's very good, in fact. Sped up room. Room map is sweet. Key is fine. Donate, go. Wonder how much it'll allow me to donate. It's a good amount. What are we at? 79, I think that was. Is what it looked like. 79 ain't bad. <laughs> yeah! Whipworm is so good. This, this is actually such an underrated worm trinket. Oh, here goes Goose again in his fucking underrated rant. Oh, we get it, Goose. Everything is underrated, and you're the fucking. You're the best at evaluating items and... Shut the fuck up, I hate you! Stop being so condescending, asshole. But it is, honestly, fairly underrated. When people talk about worm trinkets, people generally talk about them not being incredible, and just kind of like, being like, a thing. Uh, or, they talk about, uh, flatworm. Or pulse worm. Generally, flatworm. Flatworm is like the number one worm trinket people talk about, I would say. And that's mostly because it's good. You know, I'm not gonna say flatworm is bad. I'm saying whipworm is not considered. It, by most people, it's not seen as good as it is, if that makes sense. Like, people see whipworm as just like, you know. No, it's okay. But I'd, I'd say it's probably the only worm trinket with true inherent benefit. All the other worm trinkets are like cosmetic benefit, which is not really like, you know, benefit. It's just kind of like, oh, it looks sweet. Uh, or it's a very minimal benefit in the case of flatworm. Don't get me wrong, I will take flatworm all day if it shows up. I'm not going to be like, you know, not taking flatworm because I don't like it or something. Mr. Mega Sweet. I don't know if this pumps Mr. Boom. I feel like it might. If it does, that'd be sick, actually. But whipworm... Yeah. As opposed to... Uh, flatworm or, you know, pulseworm just kind of like, you know, does something, right? I don't know. I'm getting ranty and I don't really have the willpower to articulate my rant. I apologize. Trust me, I'll rant about this someday. Don't you fucking worry. By the way, I totally, when I was talking about the shop situation uh, on the last floor, I totally thought we were on depths too. Don't worry about it. The cool thing about Whipworm... Well, specifically, the cool thing about Lump of Coal is that the damage increase is based on the distance traveled, not how long it's spent in the air. So Whipworm increasing the range and shot speed doesn't actually decrease the damage from Lump of Coal at all. If anything, it almost increases it, just because you're getting the extra range. I keep grabbing money out of habit, and then I'm like, oh right, I have dark, or I have a bum friend. Got it. Is dark bum really that much better than bum friend that I just can't think of bum and it not being dark? <laughs> or do I just like bum? Got some judgment for you. Two of diamonds. Let's pop this. Alright, razor blade shit. Judgment. And that's the end, eh? You know what? Let's. Yeah. It's fine. I can live with this. I'm happy with how powerful we are. I don't feel like I need to commit more time to 
trying to improve myself before the womb. That is kind of the general idea I've found of Depths 2, is you basically decide if you're going to spend your time to get stronger uh, before the womb. But it doesn't, you know, if you're powerful enough, then whatever. Just fucking go. So, because this was an immediate dead end, I'm going to assume that is the direction to the boss. Super secret room can be kind of in one of... Oh, nice. Two kind of general ideas of locations, I guess. Um, close to the boss, or as far away from the boss as physically possible. On the bigger floors, that is. Yeah, the map is sweet. So, that looks like double trouble boss fight to me. I don't know about you. HP Apu. I don't know. Do I want that? I am unsure. Part of me wants it. But part of me thinks that that's a fucking dumb idea. Alright. We get, you know, this time it'll be like the bean or something. Trouble boss, pheromones, explosive diarrhea, diarrhea, bad trip. Take pheromones, drop bomb here, see what's up. Umbilical cord. I will take this. Mr. Fred. Alright, Mr. Fred has been chunked by our first volley. Yeah, I'm digging our damage. We can just chill here. Look at our range. Holy shit. Alright, this range is actually pretty absurd. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What do we got? Not great stuff. Uh, I will grab the HP up now that it doesn't impede my spirit hearts. Or interfere with my spirit hearts would be... Yeah. Alright. Pretty obvious where the boss is, which is unfortunate because it's pretty goddamn far away. I really don't like the shade that the champion nubs are because it, it doesn't it's not distinct what kind of champion they are unless they're like green keep forgetting to let him grab the money I don't need the money it's just so habitual like see money grab money done you know So we are almost to the end of this run. I hope we let, let him get the money. I hope we get to go to fight Satan. That'd be nice. If we don't get to, I'll be a little bit upset. I will be heartbroken. <laughs> get it, heartbroken. We're killing Mom's heart. I won't be heartbroken, but, you know. All right, good job, Trinity Shield, you fucking idiot. We got it. We did it. We did it. 
We did it! We did it. Experimental treatment has appeared in the basement. I forgot you got that by beating mom's heart some number of times. I always think that shitty items are just in the pool by default. Which, in most cases, that is true. Not all of them. Also, I hate those guys. I don't remember what they're called. They're like... They're basically oobs, but like dark. They're like dark oobs. They're fucking spooky, dude. These guys aren't spooky, though. Even though they turn out the lights occasionally. They want to be... Seen as spooky. It's just what they want in their life, dude. Can't take that away from them. Spooky! Spooky, scary skeletons! Just drop bombs. It's not like we're gonna need trillions of bombs. Yucca, yucca, waka, bleh. Did you see that shot on the left side of the room? I'm telling you, these evil twins just don't abide by the laws. Damn it. I moved too much. So did pheromones and fear shot just like cancel each other out or something? Because they definitely didn't go at each other. Whatever. Fuck you! When you spawn bullets directly inside of my hitbox, that's when it gets bullshit. But I did, there's no way I can take so many hits that I lose at, at this point. I'm just gonna fucking roll with it. I would like to be able to drop bombs that don't get fucking propelled all the way across the room. Like, I just wanna hit him with bombs. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We beat Satan. We did it. We made it two weekends deep. Congratulations to me. Happy birthday to me. It's not my birthday. I was Kane, was it? Yeah. Kane. Me. Two weeks deep, no losses. We're good, we're good. Maybe we can make it into double digits. I'm not sure. But maybe you are. But probably not, because it's me. Betting on me is like betting on a fucking horse that has like a broken leg, but like is the best sprinter. And like has won a million races regardless of his broken leg. It's like, I mean, he's good, he has the results, but he's got a broken leg, like, how can I overlook it? And suddenly I'm, you know, like a, a Jewish father or something. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, don't, hopefully nobody is offended by that. <laughs> Jew jokes, oh, it's racist. Oh, fuck you. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, of course, leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. Tomorrow we are back to the breaking runs so look forward to that if you like breaking runs of course uh i do upload how many isaac episodes nine a week four on the weekends five on the weekdays yeah it's pretty good stuff so you know if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos which that's weird why would you start at fucking hardcore episode 36 is this yeah, why'd you start there, you fucking weirdo? But, you know, subscribe. Just to see more. And, uh... I'll see you either tomorrow for breaking, or next week if you only watch Hardcore. See ya! Peace!